Okay, it is the week of May 31st, 2022, and this week in new science fiction fantasy books, we've got eight fantasy books to tell you about, five science fiction titles plus a nonfiction book about science fiction, and two horror titles. Locus is the magazine of the science fiction and fantasy field, and our definition of science fiction fantasy also includes horror, young adult, middle grade, nonfiction, art books, and related books. We have a pretty inclusive definition of science fiction and fantasy, and like the Supreme Court's definition for pornography, we know it when we see it. Anyway, you're into books, they're into you, and we're here to talk about the titles that are coming out this very now. Let's get into it. We'll start by telling you about a few fantasy titles. First up, we'll mention an urban fantasy novel from Juno Dawson called Her Majesty's Royal Coven. This book is coming out this week from Penguin in trade, paperback, ebook, and audio. It's the first in the eponymous trilogy about a covert government coven in the UK, and the first adult title from the best-selling YA author of This Book is Gay. Publishers Weekly described Her Majesty's Royal Coven as follows. A gradually building layer of political commentary ultimately reveals a complex metaphor for the UK's socio-political climate and mainstream transphobia. Elizabeth Jewell of Gibson's Bookstore in Concord says, come for the Spice Girls parallels, stay for the ideological differences in how to handle an apocalypse. Next up is a young adult feminist fantasy book called The Merciless Ones by best-selling author Namina Forna, coming out from Delacorte in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is the second book in the Gilded Ones epic fantasy series inspired by West Africa. It's about a girl who is destined to either save the world or destroy it. The starred review from School Library Journal said, this book shimmers like gold. And Buzzfeed said, this action-packed sequel is even more thrilling than the first. We also have a book by Alex Schwarzman called The Middling Affliction from publisher Ark Manor in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This urban fantasy novel is the first in the Conrad vs. Chronicles series about wisecracking PI slash monster hunter Conrad Brent who hides the fact he has only middling powers while he protects the people of Brooklyn, New York from monsters and magic. Somebody's gotta do it. There's a new title coming out from best-selling Canadian author Kelly Armstrong called A Rip Through Time, a fantasy coming out from St. Martin's, the Minotaur imprint in hardcover, ebook, and audio. Our hero Mallory wakes up in 1869 in a new body, shifting from being a homicide detective in the present to being a housemaid in Victorian Scotland. She works for an undertaker slash medical examiner, so you know there's going to be an interesting dead body as part of the story. This particular interesting dead body, the strangulation of a young man, is reminiscent of the attack that happened to our hero that set off the plot problem. So, of course, if she can only solve this murder mystery and catch the murderer, she might stand a chance of getting back home to her own time period. Moving on to science fiction, we saw a book called Walk the Vanished Earth by author Aaron Swan from publisher Viking. This post-apocalyptic science fiction novel is coming out in hardcover, ebook, and audio. It follows seven generations of Americans surviving from 1873 Kansas to 2073 Mars. This is a debut novel. Another science fiction title coming out this week is a novella called These Prisoning Hills by highly acclaimed short story author Christopher Rowe from Tor.com and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This science fiction slash weird novella is set in the world of Rose, The Voluntary State, which was nominated for Hugo and a Nebula when that story came out. The publisher describes this book in these words. In a long ago war, the all-powerful AI ruler of the voluntary state of Tennessee, Athena Parthenus, queen of reason, invaded and decimated the American Southeast, possessing the ability to infect and corrupt the surrounding environment with nanotechnology. She transformed flora and fauna and the very ground itself into biomechanical weapons of war. Next, we'll mention an SF horror novel of first contact by Casey Jones called Black Tide. This novel is coming out this week from Tor, the Nightfire imprint, in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. A meteor shower is just the start of widespread destruction and an invasion of unspeakable horrors. After a reckless one-night stand, why would a one-night stand ever lead to problems? <coughs> anyway, <coughs> after a reckless one-night stand, Mike and Beth wake up to a cataclysmic reality and have to learn to support each other to survive the nightmares come alive on Earth. A first novel, probably a little Lovecraftian. 
We also want to mention a nonfiction title called Queering SF Readings by Rich Calvin. This nonfiction collection is out from Aqueduct Press in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. It's comprised of 36 critical essays and reviews on SF, often from a queer studies perspective, and it's a part of the ongoing Conversation Pieces series from Aqueduct. You ready? In brief, we want to mention a handful of other books we saw come out this week. We saw Maria Edelman's fantasy book, How to Be Eaten, from Little Brown, in hardcover, ebook, and audio. From Open Road and author Piers Anthony, we saw Six Crystal Princesses in trade paperback, hardcover, ebook, and audio, the 46th book in the Xanth series. That's quite a run. Next up, we saw Paul Awad and Catherine O'Sullivan's science fiction novel, When Earth Shall Be No More, out in hardcover, trade paperback, ebook, and audio from Secant Publishing. We saw a horror novella called 20 Years Dead by writer Richard Farron Barber from publisher Crystal Lake in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. From Inkyard Press, we saw the original anthology All Signs Point to Yes from publisher Harlequin, edited by G. Heron Davis, Cam Montgomery, and Adrian White, available in hardcover, ebook, and audio. We saw from writer Isabel Ibanez the fantasy novel inspired by medieval Spain called Together We Burn, out from Wednesday Books in hardcover, ebook, and audio. From publisher Kensington and the writer Carol J. Perry, we saw Till Death, a mystery with psychic elements in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. From publisher Kazik SF and Fantasy, we saw The Reinvented Heart, edited by Kat Rambo and Jennifer Brozek, including stories by Naomi Kritzer, Shonim McGuire, Premi Mohammed, and Fran Wilde. Finally, we also saw dark fantasy romance novel A Game of Retribution by Scarlett St. Clair from Bloom Books in trade paperback, hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is the second in the Hades Saga series. Look, I'm sure you've noticed something, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. There's a lot of Tuesdays this month. Five of them, in fact. I don't know if you've been following along at home, but that's a lot of Tuesdays. This is the fifth Tuesday, which I think might make a pretty good band name, the fifth Tuesdays. You might already know, big publishers tend to release books on Tuesdays to maximize their chances of getting their book on the bestseller list, because for whatever reason, the bestseller list count from Tuesday to Monday every week. Spare a thought for these hardworking book editors tackling five Tuesdays in a month. At any rate, I'm going to pivot next to a few new titles that came out recently in the selection I like to call, in case you missed it. In case you missed it, we want to mention Trouble the Waters, edited by Cherie Renee Thomas, Penn Morgan, and Troy L. Wiggins. This anthology came out in trade paper from Third Man Books in January 2022. Locus reviewer Alex Brown reviewed this title in the March 2022 issue. They said, I could easily write about each and every entry here, but for brevity's sake, I'll focus on a few favorites. I couldn't stop thinking about the unsettling story by Nana Aradotter, Salt Baby. Desperate for a child, a couple create one out of salt, but tragedy strikes again and again. In Dance of Mial by Maurice Broidus, our narrator has a broken mind, broken heart, broken spirit, broken self. The narrator Farron encounters the river Muma, a water creature similar to the Mami Wada, and things take a turn for the worse or the better. You must judge for yourself. Adrian Marie Brown's Call the Water is as creative as its narrative style. Written entirely in lowercase and with no indents at the beginning of each paragraph, it centers on two women from Detroit, Cinti and her grandmother Maria, as the city struggles to access clean water. Nala Hopkinson's story Whimper is about a young woman who jumps into a river to hide with a group of others from the monsters chasing them. Another title we want to mention that came out recently is Mickey Seven, written by Edward Ashton, published by St. Martin's in hardcover. This book came out in February 2022. Logos reviewer Gabino Iglesias described the title as follows. One of the most impressive things about genre fiction is its ability to surprise and entertain regardless of how long we've been reading it. Edward Ashton's Mickey Seven, his third novel, is a multi-layered, wildly entertaining story that takes readers into a human colony fighting to survive on a truly inhospitable planet of rock and extreme cold that somehow also manages to be an exploration of mortality, a look into what makes us who we are, and a meditation on the consequences of immortality and cloning. The novel was recently picked up and will be brought to the big screen by acclaimed director Bong Joon-ho, with Robert Pattinson set to star. 
that from the review by Gabino Iglesias in the March 2022 issue of Locus. That was it. Those are the books coming out this week and a few others we thought we should tell you about. Do us a favor. If you happen to take up skywriting, you know, like, will you marry me, Susan, written by a plane? Make sure to practice by writing, subscribe to Locus Magazine's channel. We are at Locus or at Locus Mag on most channels. Practicing that little at symbol in a little plane should be a lot of fun. And I, you look like you're up for a challenge. You seem like you'd be up for a challenge. At any rate, we gotta get the word out. Every bit helps. And if you'd like to know more about Locus Magazine, we cover SF, fantasy, horror, and YA books that are coming out. We do reviews, we interview authors, talk to artists, we report on writers' workshops and conventions, all kinds of stuff. And the magazine has been doing that and generally covering the publishing business since 1968. If you write science fiction, fantasy, horror literature, if you love to read the stuff and want to know how the sausage is made, we'll tell you. Go check us out at our website, www.locusmag.com. You can subscribe to the print magazine. Locus is available in a digital edition, or you can donate to what we do via our Patreon or direct donation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with more new books. And the consequences of immorality. I'm gonna go back again. That was a long sentence.